So today I'm going to walk you through how to easily clean up and do a European mount on a deer skull using a crock pot. So go through some of the ingredients here. This is just my normal crock pot that I use to cook stuff with. So if I'm doing a skull, I like to use a couple of these uh, crock pot liners. Then to cover the top, I use the press and seal. Protect to the bases of the antlers using just some aluminum foil. And then to degrease it, I use a combination of Dawn dish soap and a little bit of baking soda. That helps pull out any oils in the skulls and actually helps the meat fall off a little bit easier. Now I'm just going to fill the water line just up to the base of the antlers and turn it on. Now we're going to flip it on. I generally go about uh, three to four hours on high or about five to six hours on low. But you want to make sure you catch it right when the meat is done easily falls off the bone, but not overcook it so much that it starts to deteriorate everything that holds the bones together. The next step is going to be cleaning it up. So we've made that meat really loose by cooking it. And then I've got a few tools here that I use. I keep a screwdriver just to pop the base of the ears off so I can access the brain cavity from a different angle. I keep a knife handy just in case there's something stubborn that I need to scrape or cut off. And then just a pair of needle nose pliers come in handy for pulling out the cartilage or anything that you can't reach. I'm going to pressure wash it because I've got a pressure washer so I've got some rain gear it keeps me dry. But if you just got a garden hose or something like that, that works. This thing turned out awesome. We're going to soak it in 40B peroxide, just whiten it up a bit. By soaking it, that gets in every little nook and cranny of the skull, really cleans it out, and then it'll be pretty much ready to go. I'll soak it overnight probably, and it'll be done by morning.